Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, friends. My name is Maureen Claffey and I'm an artist and so are you. Today, I wanted to do something really beautiful. Um, with all of you I saw on Facebook that it is National Doctors Day. So what a beautiful day to, in our hearts, honor all of our healthcare workers, from our doctors to our nurses, to our technicians, to people who are working in the hospitals, keeping everything clean. So I thought I would start a prayer. I'm gonna show you how I pray as I create art. And this is a prayer of protection for, um, a prayer of protection and gratitude surrounding all of our doctors with light and love, surrounding all of our nurses with light and love, all of our technicians, all of our hospital administrators, everyone who is involved in treating all of our fellow citizens and people around the globe. Um, so here for in the United States, but also for the world, everyone who's on the front line in terms of protecting human dignity and health in this time of crisis. So this is what a painted prayer looks like for me. I encourage you to decide what it looks like for you. If you were to sit down and make a focused meditation of gratitude and protection for everyone who's out in the field, um, what would it look like? What would it look like for you? I just want to show you what it looks like for me in a way to encourage you to embrace your own possibility as an artist for creating from a place of like of deep gratitude and prayer. So here we go. This is my prayer of protection for doctors on National Doctor Day and all everyone who works with doctors, the nurses, everyone who comes into contact, the whole the whole team, the administrators, the janitors, the ever the everyone. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much for being with me. I love doing this. Thank you for being here. Okay, here's my paper. Here we go, down onto the work. I'm using something today that, from what I understand, it's an Arches paper. It's not manufactured, it's not uh, labeled as such. But you can get this at Blick and it's quite good. So this is 12 by 16, which makes a really nice size that fits directly underneath the camera. Um, and today, um, I always ask myself, like, what do I need in terms of my own creation? Like, how do I need to care for myself as I create? And to, today, the answer was very clear that I needed to create with watercolor because it is incredibly calming for me. So here's my palette. And... Sorry, I just can't find my water bottle. Uh, I'm a little bit disorganized today because I just started my first lesson for children and it was so much fun. But um, so I can't find my water bottle. So I'm just gonna wet my paints this way. I'm just gonna like take a brush, take the time to see what happens when you add water to pigment and it begins to loosen almost immediately. It changes color. So take a few minutes with it Oh, it's very meditative. It's very like you get to acknowledge each color that you're going to get to create with. And this is when the process begins. You start to decide, oh, that really that color really speaks to me today. I think I'm going to use that. Maybe that will be central to my work today. But take the time to like put a little bit of water in each. I do love spraying them as well because it's very efficient with time. And um, I'm just going to take my time today. I try to make these videos around 20 minutes. The time just seems to fly when I make them. And I'm always surprised. But we may go a little longer today because I need to really relax into the process. So everything's nice and wet. And I'm going to leave it here so that you can see where I'm pulling from as I begin the work. So, hi sweetheart. Hi. Um, so here we go. Here's water, amazing water, clean water comes out of the tap, what a miracle. I'm gonna put it up here. Um, this paper is not really delicate, which is so beautiful, so I can put like a container of water on it, I can put things on it. Sometimes when you work with thinner paper, 
You have to be a little bit more careful because it does like make an imprint, but you know what? Sometimes that's a really cool thing and it can be like a beautiful um, accident, so to speak, that you hadn't anticipated and it can bring you down a whole new creative path. These blues right here are really speaking to me. So I'm gonna go like this. And when I was wetting things, I was like, oh, I have to go into the blue today. So how I, I'm gonna move this off to the side for a minute and this too. So as I focus my mind and my heart on um, doctors and healthcare workers everywhere, I would want to wrap them in a circle of protection, asking divine love and angels everywhere to give them wisdom and guidance freedom from fear and courage freedom from fear and courage you know it's interesting when we um, having helped children through college and Having been a parent, it was always such a beautiful thing when someone else's child, I didn't have a child that was a scientist that would become a doctor. I do have a sister who's a nurse, and we so revere her for that gift. Um, and the studies that she undertook and the way that she stands in the front line of helping people on what is sometimes the worst day of their life. I mean, who wants to end up in the hospital like no one? And so it was with such, such deep respect for what other people have chosen in bringing light and love to the world and doing it from a place of great knowledge and education. My friend Beth and I prayed the other night for the minds that are working for the solution to this crisis to receive from the divine the information the synchronicities and the divine orchestration collaborations needed to find a cure that everything is, that is needed, it's already here. It's already here for us. So I would encourage you in this time to ask and receive. There was another blue back here. Again, patience with yourself in the initial stages of chaotic creation. You know, our paintings may not look like we had hoped, it doesn't matter. Enjoy the process in my heart. I just praying blessing over every doctor as they meet a patient coming into the hospital who might be ill. And allowing the color to move my heart to where it needs to be. Because, let's be honest, you know, um, it's easy to wake up and to go to sleep in fear in these times. And I would encourage you to really protect your heart from that. Because it's not necessary. If you stop, and as Eckhart Tolle would say, enter into the now, which is where painting takes us. 
it brings us into the present moment if we allow it. That is where the sacred is. Oh, don't you love that? Don't you love, oh wow. Just, okay, I'm gonna do that again. Here's some green. I'm taking like a pretty significant, like I'm really working the pigment from a wet brush into wet paint and it releases in a really thick way. So let's just see what happens again. Just pulling that brush through, making a more definitive line and then seeing where I can take that color in other places so that there's almost like a balance. There's a balance in a song to the work. And again, as I'm painting, the intention that I'm bringing to the focus of the work is one of love and joy, appreciation and gratitude for everyone who welcomes one of my fellow human beings who may be in crisis. This is a sponge from the kitchen. I normally wouldn't do that, but I'm not about to get up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull this. And then after I use it for art supplies, it goes in the garbage because you don't wanna mix what you use in the kitchen. You don't wanna be eating art supplies, so to speak. So going back in with a really, but you know, the sponges are great for this. You know, and then you can really clean your brush on it. So my studio space has a brand new sponge. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go back in over here. Yes, as a prayer of blessing upon everyone who meets one of my fellow human beings as they come in to the hospital in a time of crisis. This painting is a blessing for courage and love and strength to every healthcare worker, especially our doctors on National Doctor Day, as they greet them. It is a message to the universe of appreciation for these lives, for these brilliant individuals who have given their lives and their minds and hearts and souls to caring for their fellow humans in moments of distress. All right, I've got like this blue part here. I don't even know what you call this blue, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit more balanced. It's over here on my palette. Um, and I'm gonna come back in over here. So it is the artwork, but more than that, it is the intention that you bring to the artwork, the joy with which you create. If you allow it, art will bring you to a very centered, focused place where you can communicate with the divine and enter into the present moment, into the now, where so much that is sacred happens, where everything that is sacred happens. So I love like these open spaces. I mean, you could call them negative space, but that's really a term like for when you're drawing, but there's spaces where there's no paint, right? So do I wanna like float it in an iridescent do I want to create like a background that's gray that kind of like lifts it up? Do I want to extend the color? And like I'm really feeling like it would be wonderful to use some of this iridescent paint. This is Fine Tech. This is a brand that's really come on strong lately. You'll see it all over the stores. Um, made in Germany. It's quite good. Um, I still prefer that Japanese brand. I never know. The, I can't remember the name of it. But you see this? This is like a pearl. A pearl color. Okay? 
And what's cool about these iridescents is that they reflect light. And so it just brings so much joy and interest. And you know, beauty has this amazing, when you create beauty, it has this amazing way of distracting people into the present moment, out of their troubles, to a place of like joy in what they're observing. This is a little bit more champagne. These are golds. This is more of a brassy gold. This is a really deep copper, and this is kind of between the two. I don't know what you call that. That's beautiful. But what really interests me right now is what's left of this little pile of paint and just kind of like using water to loosen it. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna create a backdrop for this painting. And what'll be beautiful is the way it dries. I felt like today um, I just really needed to start something new and I connected with my heart um, in terms of what I wanted to bring to you. So I really won't know what I have in terms of the way this dries and I'm going to mix in a little bit of this too just to see what happens. Okay, there you go. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is... Um, has more of a champagne feel to it. Okay, can you see? This is more champagne and this is more silver. Okay, so we've got our silver. I really am like totally feeling that silver. That feels beautiful to me. And, um, and I think what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of this champagne in just to like mix it up so that it doesn't look all I mean, it's definitely not monotone, but it just adds a different um, dimension, a different chrome to it. So we're gonna turn this this way. And I'm gonna finish this part up here. So this is an orb, a prayer of thanks and gratitude for doctors, all medical workers, but especially today on National Doctor Day for our doctors. The amount of schooling that they have to go to, the compassion, the intelligence that they bring on an everyday basis into our most difficult situations. May they be protected. May they feel well. May they know that they are guided. And for the doctors and researchers everywhere who are working to heal this illness of coronavirus, the divine intelligence, that they be open to it and that it may provide to them the answers, the synchronicities, and the collaborations needed for a cure. Okay. All right. That's where I'm going to leave that for today. I look forward to seeing what happens with it as I complete it and I will post about it. Oh my goodness, again, fine tech. Does that help? Oh, I feel so much better, and I hope that you do too. Ooh, I feel so much better having focused my energy on um, people who are on the front lines and supporting them in the only way that I can is through my spirit and my prayer of protection. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for making art that um, that is in support of that, of all our fellow human beings who are caring for our other fellow human beings who are in some of their worst times. All my love to you on this beautiful day. And um, thank you so much for watching. Hi, Kent. Hi, Ken. How nice to see you. Hi, Judy. Love you. Okay. So, everybody, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's have a beautiful day. All my love to you. Bye-bye.